Have you ever tried to secure a REST endpoint in Spring Boot, only to run into frustrating permission issues? If that's you, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into how to create a custom permission evaluator to solve your authorization problems. I totally get it. It can be incredibly annoying when you think you've set everything up correctly, only to be met with errors that leave you scratching your head. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges. Here's the specific situation we're tackling today. A user wants to create a custom permission evaluator to authorize access to a REST endpoint. They are using Spring Boot 1.5.3 and are encountering an error that says, method has permission cannot be found. Sound familiar? Let's work through this together. So, what could be causing this error? It often happens when the custom method isn't properly recognized by Spring's security framework will break down the code and identify where things might be going wrong. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that will help you avoid these kinds of issues in the future. To resolve the issue, the user should first ensure that the custom permission evaluator is correctly referenced in the security configuration. This means checking that the correct class name is used. Next, the user needs to modify the has permission method in the custom permission evaluator. This method should accept the necessary parameters to match the expected signature. After that, the user should ensure that the REST controller is correctly set up to pass the required parameters to the has permission method. This involves adjusting the pre-authorize annotation. Finally, the user should test the implementation by calling the REST endpoint with different IDs to verify that the permission checks are functioning as expected. Fun fact, did you know that Spring Security is one of the most widely used security frameworks in Java applications? It's powerful, but it can be tricky to configure correctly. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests modifying the at preauthorize annotation in your REST controller. Instead of calling has permission directly, they recommend using at custom permissions evaluator dot has permission with the ID parameter. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always double check your method signatures and ensure they align with what Spring Security expects. This small habit can save you hours of debugging. And there you have it. With these adjustments, your custom permission evaluator should work seamlessly. Remember, proper configuration is key. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips. And don't miss our next video where we tackle more Spring Boot challenges.